I would like to invite Brother Zafar Bangash. is noted for Islamic movement, journalist and commentator in Toronto, Canada. Brother Bangash is director of the Institute of Contemporary Islamic Thought and president of the Islamic Society of York Region. Brother Zafar Bangash. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters friends and comrades friends from the Christian community friends from the Jewish community and our friends in humanity I would like to thank all of you for coming out today to this rally which is very important today because there have been attempts by pro-Israeli and pro-Zionist groups to shut this rally down, to ban this rally and to usurp our rights to free speech and our rights to peaceful assembly. Brothers and sisters, as we hold this rally, there have been rallies in 800 cities around the world. And it is this growing awareness of Zionist crimes that scares the Zionists out of their wits. Brothers and sisters, this rally is important because Masjid al-Aqsa, the first Qibla of the Muslims, is under Zionist occupation and they are threatening to destroy it. We will not allow them to do this. I want to share with you certain international laws of which the Zionist regime is guilty. They are violating those international laws. Number one, under international law and under the Geneva Conventions, an occupying power is not supposed to change the demographic composition of the land under its occupation. The Zionist regime is guilty of violating by changing the demographic composition of territories under its occupation by their illegal settlements. Number two, an occupying regime is not permitted to transfer the population of occupied land to another place. The Zionist regime is illegally transferring, arresting Palestinians, men, women and children and locking them up in prison for decades. These include children. There are at least 300 children under the age of 10 that are under Israeli, they are in Israeli prisons. These children are subjected to physical as well as sexual abuse. Shame to these Zionist occupiers. And brothers and sisters, we all know that Donald Trump is a racist and a bigot. But if imagine Donald Trump were to announce that the United States is a country only for the white people, imagine the uproar that would occur in the world. And yet, Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, on April the 6th announced that Israel is a state for not all of its citizens, only for the Jewish citizens of Israel. That makes Netanyahu and Zionism racist. And we say it openly and categorically. We make no apologies for this fact. In fact, we will continue to raise our voices against injustices. We will continue to raise our voices against oppression. Brothers and sisters, among our guests today, from the Jewish community, we have a number of people you see, our honorable rabbis joining us. We are very grateful for their participation in these rallies and rallies all across the world. They represent the true values of Judaism and we honor that. We also have our sister Suzanne Weiss. I've known her for many, many years. 
As a child, she was targeted by the Nazis for extermination. She was saved by total strangers and she survived the Holocaust, although many members of her family perished in the Holocaust. But to her great credit, she continues to stand up and speak for truth and justice. And she supports the rights of the Palestinian people because she feels that an injustice to one is an injustice to all. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I want to share a story with you. When I read that story, it moved me deeply and it touched me very deeply. In the Gaza Strip, which is under Israeli siege for more than 12 years now, Israeli snipers target Palestinian youth that hold peaceful rallies by using high velocity rifles with bullets that shatter their bones. In Gaza, the hospitals do not have enough anesthesia to amputate their limbs, so they have to be amputated without using anesthesia. This is the kind of cruelty that Israel subjects the people of Gaza too. But the story that I want to share with you is that of a young girl, five year old. Her name was Aisha Lulu from Al Buraj district in central Gaza. Aisha was diagnosed with brain tumor. There are no facilities in Al Shifa hospital in Gaza and she had to be taken to Al Maqasid hospital in Jerusalem. Her parents applied for a visa for her as well as for the mother and father. Israel issued a visa for the young girl, the five-year-old girl, but refused to issue a visa for her parents. So the poor young girl had to be attached with a total stranger, a woman, to take her to Jerusalem to have her brain surgery to remove the tumor from her brain. In the hospital, after that girl woke up, she started to cry and ask for her mother. Obviously, a young girl would do so. Her mother wasn't there. She cried and cried and cried and until the doctors decided that they have to send this girl back to Gaza so that she can be with her family and her parents. Along the way, she had to run the gauntlets of so many Israeli military checkpoints. And those people that have suffered through the Israeli military checkpoints know how brutal the Israeli soldiers can be. The poor girl arrived in Gaza to her family, but because of lack of medication, because of the trauma that she had suffered, because of the torture that she had suffered at the hands of the Israeli soldiers, she died a few days later. This is the kind of cruelty that Israel subjects the Palestinian people to. And that is why we say that we will continue to expose the crimes of the Zionist regime until those crimes are brought to an end and the Zionist ideology is removed from Palestine so that all people, Muslims, Christians and Jews can live as equal citizens under the law in a free Palestine. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Brother Zafar Bangash. And I just want to repeat again what Brother said, that today we are here, our Jewish brothers are here, our Christian brothers are here, and Muslim brothers are here.